Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got another Audi S1 video for you and this can relate to a lot of other German cars, especially VAG cars. Now I know what you may be thinking. The problem is, it's a VAG car. Now, before you even say that, this is really common on some BMWs. The common VAG cars for it are the Mark 7 Golf, the Polo 6C, the Audi A3, 8V models and now it's happened to this Audi S1 and it's happened to me in the past before and I've seen a lot of BMW 1 series suffer from this. Now I'm not talking about oil leaks, timing chain issues, coolant problems or even Haldex pump issues. I am talking about condensation in the headlight. The reason why I'm talking about condensation in the headlight is I do want to make people who are looking to buy a German car aware of this problem because it can be expensive. One headlight is minimum use £400 easily. So if you've got to buy two, that's an £800 bill. And it depends on the car model you've got. These can cost £1,500 plus for one headlight. So that is a problem there. Now this can normally start from a little speck of condensation on the inner of the headlights near us to the badge, then this thing spreads. Always spreads, over time it just gets worse. Now, I'm not too sure if it's the headlight seal. I'm really not too sure. This has happened to my Mark 7 Golf R before and I've had to replace the headlight and that wasn't cheap. Now what's happened to this Audi S1, it's completely ruined the headlight and now it's saying my dip beam doesn't work. So there we go. There's even more money again. Not too bothered about it happening to this S1 because it hasn't got headlights that I actually want. I want the optional extra headlights with the red in them. And they are easy, £500 used. And if I buy a pair of those, it's probably going to happen again. So that's why I would like to know how to prevent this. Now, funny thing is, I saw a Mark 7 GTI last week, and that's what made me think of this video, to be honest. And the both headlights were gone. It looks terrible. And obviously that's a big bill, if you don't know how to fix it. And bottom line, it's down to the quality of the car, obviously. Because I see plenty of other car manufacturers and it doesn't happen, and they are far cheaper to buy. So, why is this a thing? Do you know a fix? Do you know how to prevent it? Has it happened to you? Let me know in the comment section down below. 